Select your character. Oh, thank fuck for that. Because this game, during the credits, it decided that the best thing to do would be to sign me out. Well, okay, it's Xbox that did it, but I got signed out during the credits, so I wasn't sure if it would have counted the final boss fight at all, but luckily, the game said, fuck you, Xbox. We're not going to screw this guy over when he's trying to impress all his YouTube friends. So what's left is the final 30% of Tales, which should be a single episode. It's funny how with Tales, um, Tales actually, what, what I managed to clear for, uh, with Sonic in uh, two episodes, Tales really only can probably get it done in one. Uh, the stories end at the same time as you saw. I, what you saw at the end of the last one was basically what where Tales is. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, where Tales' story ends as well. I think, I wasn't really paying attention, but I think I just mentioned Amy about going rescuing her. Which is weird because I don't think Sonic mentioned Amy a single point to Tales yet. Like, like, as far as Tales knows, Amy's not involved in this whole thing at all. Because Sonic has not said a word about Amy to Tails, and Tails hasn't messed up with her in this at this point. So the egg carrier transforms again. It's weird. Like, I think only Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles actually have that cutscene. Did you see that? Now how are we gonna get to the I just love that facial expression me. Sonic has. I, guess you that. I love that laugh that Eggman just gave as well. That's me, quite good. The sky deck. You can make it. <laughs> I dare you. But you know, like, this, this, can, this can be a bit tricky to do with Tails because if you recall the, um, if you if you recall previously when so, this must be the when they did, did the level of Sonic, um, there's a lot of areas you can fall off. Tails just has the opening part of the area and he has to race Sonic, but it can be a little tricky because of the. Because you can't really take advantage of the wide open areas as well as you can in, say, Windy Valley. So you just go do what you can. Wait, what? Oh. Let's see if I can... Oh, right, yeah. I didn't realize you could do that. That helps. Whoa, no, camera, camera. No, oh. The camera's trying to scream up. Oh, oh Sonic's like, you made it. It's like, I'm ahead of you, Sonic. Wee. Whoa! Sun just boosted ahead there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And here we go. And. Whoa! It is harrowing this. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh. I was just. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. What a rush. I think something was spazzing out there at the end. So. I love how Sonic lands inside yeah. first. Is that it? Sonic, we should I do want to know how uh, exactly land on the capsule leads to here. We like, oh, I was like, we should head to the bridge. Yeah, in Tails' story, you don't go to the bridge. So only a Sonic. Tails has a different thing to do. Because he just leaves with Amy. And here we go, the final version of this same cutscene you've seen three times. Like, at this point, you pretty much have to be glad that they didn't just have the same scene play out the same way in all four stories. You're a bit late. Not the birdie. On an unrelated note, how awesome are pancakes? I, we, just, we just recently had uh, Pancake Day over here and I fucking love pancakes. Mm. 
What is your wish, master? That fucking gamma shows up and he's like, hi. And there he is with his big cannon that he doesn't actually have in his own story at this point. Get rid of these pests. That's kind of the weird thing with these with the the cuts like the characters like the characters will just have whatever power you found from. Like you could at least made it that they don't have a power up they don't have at that point in the story. I mean that would have been a better way of doing it. But yeah. So Tails is a fight gamma, it's like how dumb is that? And what's the birdie doing in the background? Yeah, it's actually easier as Tails than it is as Sonic or Gamma. Yeah, Sonic has the um, the big speed advantage. You can do the homing attack where he homes right in on, so on the enemy. Gamma can just shoot at long range and get his Tails who dances around in a circle that has it easiest. Move aside, Amy. Get out of the way. No. This robot Amy. is my friend. He helped me. You Don't dozy him. bitch. Hmm. Mm. The sub says, hmm. Okay. So I don't know which is wrong. If you say so, you have your reasons, I guess. And then... Yeah, hey, it, Amy, Amy doesn't even say anything to Gamma in this version. Hurry, Tails. Take Amy and Whereas Gamma is like, she's like, well, Mr. Robot, you, you should be a good person. And Amy's just like, nope. Stop to his evil ways. I find Sonic's dialogue a bit funny, though. It sounds like he's... Is implying that he's going to murder Eggman. I'm gonna put a start to his evil ways permanently. <laughs> Which you have to admit, it would be kind of uh, entertaining. But then again, they did kind of do that in um, one in about three of the endings of Shadow the Hedgehog, where Shadow just straight up murders Eggman with a chop. Like, it's weird, like a game where Shadow goes around with guns. When he kills Eggman, he doesn't shoot him. It's like, um. I don't think they did that quite right, you know? Here we go to the normal station square music. Right after that, that sequence with the egg carrier. I don't know. I kind of feel like Tails getting to the egg carrier is pointless. You no, know, because you look at it, it's like... What did he really do? He had, he had a short level that I cleared in, a, in a, just over a minute. Okay, that looks weird. How is Eggman not dead again? As we see, the, like, while in Amy's story, Tails just leaves with no context. So it looks like he's just trying to get the fuck away from her. Here he actually There's has a reason. I wonder what happened to Sonic. That sounded a bit of like an awkward reading. I wonder what happened to Sonic. And Eggman's just I'm finished. dead. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. Eggman, you sicko. And then instead of playing Eggman's theme, he's playing Chaos's theme. <clears throat> I wish they had a bit more music to use in the game, because most times they just play the same tracks. Where is that missile coming from? Like, it looks like it's just coming out of the water, because it's not really that big. Like, what? What? What is that supposed to be? Like, is it from the egg carrier? Ready? Fire! It's never explained. I think it used the same sound effects as the rockets that help you out to get places. No, wait, that's landed in Twinkle Park. This is why it's weird. Like, look, think about it. Speed Highway and Twinkle Park. The entrances are right next to each other. Yeah. So. um... That was a dud. That was an epic fail. And they keep using that same audio clip and going, I can't believe this, or get a load of this. And so. Ah. Yeah, so so instead of just running right at Eggman from behind, he, he tails hop, runs around to the the side of him and it goes from the side. I've got to get it before Eggman. The fate of Station Square depends on me. <sighs> Sonic. I don't think that's supposed to be a sigh when he says, huh. I've changed and of course, I've with it's Sonic. nighttime. 
But I can't depend on him forever. Yeah, look how oh, this is this is meant to be giving tales. Okay, a bit of an arc. You know, really, there really hasn't been anything to set this arc off. It's having the fact they got separated from Sonic for a short time. That's really it. You think you can keep up with me? I love how Eggman actually knows Tails is there. He's caught up. I've got you now, Tails. No, you've not, Eggman. You've not got me at all. Ha ha ha. For this is Speed Highway. Sneaky little shortcuts are cuts out shortcuts rather. A path of the course in this place. Have you not seen generations, you fuck? But yeah, the, um, that little trick I mentioned way back in like episode four. Uh a new hope. When I was playing as uh, Tails at Windy Valley, and I mentioned that you can use a second controller to control Sonic. That does not work on Eggman. Shame, but yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's cool that having, having uh, you got. Uh, well, it's not a different area, like uh, in some of the levels. I do like it when uh, like there were Tails going through the same area as Sonic, just taking a different route. In this case, flying. They're going by ground. I suppose where it gets awkward when it, when it fucking turns you upside down. And I almost fell off the edge then. But through no fault of my own. Ah! Up and down and all around. Ah. Checkpoint. Yeah, and this may have led to Eggman and Tails being rivals in, in um, Sonic Adventure Two. Yeah. But yeah, so that that's it. Bad. I've defeated Eggman. Eggman's a bit of a um, he's a bit slow, isn't he? So wow, someone actually called him so Robotnik for once. <laughs> wow. It only takes it in the tail story for someone to call him Robotnik. I'm not entirely sure of the time scale for this though. I f yeah, so I think what happens is Sonic just while he chases, he chases Eggman, but Eggman ends up landing in Station Square. Away before I make mincemeat out of you. It's all it's all falls a lot I'm faster than Tails scared. does, but he lands in Station I Square. This. Then this happens and Tails beats him. Then he flees to the Mystic Ruins, where Sonic sees him after uh, getting out of Lost World. And then once Lost World is finished, Get a load of this. No way. I can't believe this. Yeah, I think once Sonic's out of Lost World, that's when Egg, uh, Eggman gets to his base. And Tails sets off right after fighting Eggman. Get a load of this. No way. No. I I'm trying to figure out which, what ex exactly which Metal Gear game this reminds me of. I think it's the, the Wraith fight in Metal Gear Rising. I'm not completely sure. But I think that's the one it is. Get a load of this. No way. Whoa, Nelly. It's not hard, like, because you really, there's no danger of falling to your death, which makes this way easier than the Egg Viper. But what do you think of the, of the Metal Gear? It might be more for the ones from Peace Walker. Because there is one that involves it, and Metal Gear tries to crush you. So give me that one. I think the next one he'll, he'll, try, and, he'll try and step on with all four legs. Holy shit. Pido, 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 pido. That's what the sound effect sounds like. Get a load of it, get a load of it, get a load of this. Shit, no, okay. No. Rules of nature! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry. With Eggman defeated, Station Square is saved. Hey, I did it! I don't know why you'd care, but you save the day. Apparently, You're you the do. Best. All these weird mannequin-like people are phrasing tales. And if Steam starts playing, what's what's awkward about Tales Steam is that it doesn't just—it's not just that it doesn't play into the credits. It stops. Go to the Mystic Ruins, and it picks up again. And there's Sonic. You know, that's not where Sonic was when Tails saw him at the end of Sonic Story. They just still play this. And you saw a quick little glitchy bit with Sonic, where he's, where he's sideways. Then didn't you? Well, suppose so. I guess Tails version makes makes his, makes a lot more sense here compared to Sonic's version. You know, having Tails arrive and where they're running from it, it's close to Tails version. Plus, the focus on Tails in the scene just makes a lot more sense. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it'd be good to have a game that's, that's just about Sonic and Tails against the villains. Probably Eggman. No, yeah, just the, music, just the songs getting going, it just cuts out. But yeah, so I feel like the games about those two would be cool because they have um, you know, they have a pretty strong friendship. That you never really get to go into. I mean, the, the most you get is either Tails helping Sonic out in some way, or having them both have their own stories, or have the two working together with Knuckles. I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, it's, it's Tails' gameplay is actually not that bad. It's one of the best. I'll probably put like fourth. No, I actually might, might rank it third behind uh, Sonic and Gamma, with Knuckles in, in fourth, but very close because the uh, the treasure hunting gameplay isn't quite as good as it could be in this game. Uh. I'd put Amy's down next because Amy's, Amy's gameplay isn't that bad. But it's definitely worse. Uh, and then you have, of course, the Fat Ones gameplay, which can go fuck itself along with him. And yeah, so I think overall. Uh, Aside from big, like the game is pretty damn solid. Like obviously the uh, animations are a bit off, but you know. But that, my friend, is the end of our jaunt through the magical world of Sonic Adventure. I mean, that's it. You do all, you complete as all six characters, and that's it. Game over. I'll move on to Sonic Adventure 2 sometime down the line. I just don't want to focus too much on Sonic. You know, tune in next time when I'll have an entirely new game to play. Until then. I'm just gonna go mess about in the adventure fields for a bit. You know, it's kind of interesting. Select your character. What?